That sure was some nightmare. It even left me with a monster headache. My head is killing me. My head feels like it's going to explode. Those wooden planks creak a lot. These nightmares have given me a mean headache. I can't think of anyone I want to call right now. It seems like I've had this headache since I moved in. Boy, my head hurts. This dilapidated room gives me the chills. It must be the cold draft. I wouldn't want to wear such a heavy old coat. The sheets are blanketed with dust. And now so are my hands. I'm already dry. This attic is full of useless items left over from the previous owner. Some of these windows need to have the glass replaced. I've already read this paper. Nothing in here. No use trying, it's really tight. It's not ski season yet. The entrance to this house must have seen countless guests come and go, but it's just me now.
That's a chilly draft flowing through this decrepit old living room. The varnish is still smooth. The varnish is rough. The cushion is tough. More dust on my hands. I better not eat anything coming from this kitchen until the cleaning lady has disinfected it. Here's an extensive collection of empty wine bottles. The previous owner must have had some reason to drink. What would I want with an empty bottle? They feel sticky with dried wine. These leather-bound books remind me of my book collection still in storage. That's kind of unsettling. The globe is rusted into place and will not turn. The books would fall apart if I touched them. This secret room is dark and damp. It's a calm neighborhood out here. My house seems somehow out of time, a relic of a dark past, or perhaps a dark future.
The road seems strangely empty and unoccupied. This town looks unnaturally quiet. This is the inside of a police station. I don't see anything of interest. I can't pry it loose. Besides, it's too big to lug around. At least there aren't any pictures of anyone I know here. Quaint general store with a little bit of everything for day-to-day -day existence. I'm sorry, Mr. Dawson, but you'll have to pay for that. There's a bottle of cheap scotch. Maybe I should call for an appointment first. An old library. A venerable repository of knowledge. It guards its bounty behind a handsomely decorated structure. The water feels so cool and refreshing. This room reminds me of my study, full of leather-bound books. That would be very impolite. The sort of thing your former co-worker Larry would have tried to do. She's an extremely beautiful woman. She doesn't seem to notice me staring at her. Sure is quiet here. You could hear a pin drop. The rows of books in the library stacks all look pretty much the same.
Here's an entry to an old cemetery, overgrown with weeds. This place looks like no one has been around and tended for a long time. There's no name on this stone. Sherry Day. S. Nostromo. Rest in peace. John Campbell. Here lies a man who saw beyond time's horizon. These are ancient symbols covering this mausoleum. But I'm not up on my Egyptian. The tomb door won't open. This stone feels stone cold. Have I no respect for the dead? The stone feels cold and slippery. Hello. Hello, Mike. This is Sue at the library. We have a book on hold for you, so please drop by sometime.
At least the lawn doesn't need mowing. This place is a shambles. Reminds me of my last garage. Now this baby could be a collector's item, if it were properly restored. It doesn't look like it's been used lately. Hi Mike, here's the book that was put on hold for you.